As I was saying in the other video, it is bittersweet. We have lost the Hawk 125 and the IT 175, but we traded and acquired a Honda with a five speed. So it's a little, uh, you're gonna like pull this out and then push it forward, but we can get out. So it's a little bittersweet. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. It is a 99 RD1 CRV. And it has the table, which we'll get into. It is the all wheel drive model, not the front wheel drive, because in the RD1s, they only, or at least in 99, they only had all wheel drive for the manual. It runs, it drives, gets great gas mileage, it's got good heat, and two, it's got 50% of the tires are good. So, this is the new acquisition. I've been dreaming of these things for so many years. I've wanted to lift one, I've wanted to lower one, I've wanted to bag one, I don't know which route to go. I wanna kinda of put Civic, you know, it's mostly Civic under the hood, so we'll get like a Civic turbo kit and stuff. It's just a big booty Civic is all it is. So, this is the new acquisition. And it's bittersweet gonna miss the hawk i definitely had a lot of plans for the hawk i wanted to ride trails and stuff with it and use it as a guest bike however at the end of the day i am about five foot nine and 210 to 215 pounds and i'm a little too damn big for it i bottom it out all the time i keep breaking it i keep wiping it out and this i'm gonna get so much more use out of this but the bravada is going to be traded for the replacement for the hawk i just haven't decided that yet oh this is a limited batch but i don't think that goes to this so overall right now it's like 20 degrees 18 degrees something like that i don't know it's cold as hell but i just wanted to do a quick introduction also another thing i woke up this morning to and i'll make a, a more detailed video about it because i woke up this morning to a comment from mike festiva i didn't realize he was watching my videos now i really regret getting rid of the hot i absolutely love mike festiva i watched the shit out of his videos i actually was watching one of his videos before i realized he commented on my video i was watching one of his 150 videos again <clears throat> um so he's got the the dlx 150 uh whatever the hell it's storm yeah it's the storm and he just rips the absolute hell out of that thing. I love his videos. I'm, I'm looking to get a plasma cutter. So I've been watching his videos. I've been looking to get a better welder. That's still also on a budget. Because everything I do is on a budget. I'm not one of those top shelf motherfuckers. So absolutely I am ecstatic. That I was actually getting some notice from Mike Festiva. And now I don't have something to in persuade him to watch my videos. I really didn't think they were that great. <laughs> but uh, that's. That made my day. That made my morning right there, getting a comment from Mike Festiva. That was awesome. I'm gonna end the video here because I got a damn Jeep coming down the road and Jeeps will run you the hell over. Actually, I think it's my mail lady, but look at this. Wow, it's a little rough starting out, but. and then the hatch ajar is just being dramatic it's got a touch screen which well, doesn't work to connect to my phone all the interior lights but they don't work um, the door handles I have three door handles missing not like I have three door handles three of them are missing uh, there's a switch right here for the fans which I don't think it works I can hear some brake squeal um that is mud i thought it was pterodactyl shit because look at the size i was like what the hell shit on the car that was that big but then i got on the outside and looked and it's mud so it's not pterodactyl shit it's got a broken windshield which is standard uh wiper motors the wiper motor works but the transmission came disconnected honda things it has a manual and a working handbrake I don't even understand how to grasp the fact that a handbrake even can still work. I've had no working handbrake for so long. But we're
we're gonna go over some of the features when it's not stupidly cold out. And we're gonna get some brakes in this thing. Um, so, yeah, and then it's got this other little switch right here. Super nice switch. I don't know what the fuck it's for. I don't know that it goes to anything. Like I said, it, it's been, I love this thing. I'm super excited about it. It's going to replace the Bravada. It's a manual. It's a four-cylinder. Put 150. Well, actually, I reset it at like 5 or 8 or 5 or 10 miles. So, like 160, 165 miles we put on it yesterday. And didn't even go through a half a tank of gas. Well, we're right at about a half a tank of gas. So, 276,000 miles, which is super low. Uh, especially for a 99 Honda. The headliner looks good. The seats look good. They only came in this pattern unless you get the leather. I don't have the leather, so they only came in this pattern. So, um, comes with a spare O2 sensor and a spare uh, head gasket. So that's comforting that it, it's got a head gasket included. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I. I'll do an underhood and everything. It don't look too bad under there. It don't look great, but it don't look too bad. And they painted it red because you know Honda things. Red adds like five horsepower just in case somebody didn't know. So I'm on the way to the gas station to go grab some uh, snacks for the kids. Oh, that was a bad shift. I'm not really hammering on it. Sounds decent with that muffler, whatever that muffler is. Sounds okay. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of plans for this one. I'm excited about this one. I got the Bravado. I was like, oh, I can do this and I can do that. I can do this. And I was like, this thing fucking bores the hell out of me. So, this thing, this thing here does not bore the shit out of me. It excites the hell out of me. And I have been wanting one for so long that it's ridiculous. And I finally finally have one i know it's not exciting or impressive to most people and the body is super like minimally crunchy for this area so a minimally crunchy body in wisconsin that runs and drives you just can't argue that however it is sad that i got rid of the two bikes i am going to miss the hawk i don't really know much about the it but the hawk i will miss and uh it'll get replaced with something else uh, there are some plans in the works right now with it just made sense because everything coming up right now we got some surgeries coming up for the girlfriend the dog possibly me depending on how things go with but uh, uh, the, the bike having an extra bike around just wasn't feasible I'm a little too big for the damn thing and <clears throat> which is funny because the bike that we're gonna get to replace it is actually going to be smaller so this is uh this is where we're at right now and Bravada is up on the chopping block and we'll get rid of that for something else you know something smaller than the hawk something way bigger than the hawk i'm not sure you know like a grom clone or a goldwing you know two very different things are on the list so those are just two of the things that are on the list several other things you know that is an automatic tray like that came from an automatic. That didn't come in a manual. They didn't have these, as far as I know. They did not have those. They had this though. It's... Damn it! I know it works. All right, there it goes. It clicked. Look at that. It's fancy. So uh, I'm gonna go inside, grab the food, and then uh, that's gonna be it for the Honda right now. Many things to come.